Good morning and happy Tuesday. Let's take a look at today's top local stories. Six applicants are being considered from the 2nd District to fill in the empty chair on the St. Joseph City Council. The following applicants are up for the chair. Brianna R. Bland, Jason M. Esslinger, J.L. Robertson, Michelle Traster, Richard Rick Bolton, and Michael Scott Cox. There is a special City Council meeting on April 4th where the applicants will give statements and answer questions from the Council. About the candidates, we have some very strong names yeah. from the South End. Uh, they are very positive. Uh, the resumes look good, um, and some of the, the comments that were made about, you know, how they represent the people and how they will work with the uh, council. The council is hoping to choose the candidate by the end of the meeting on Thursday. And the St. Joseph City Council met Monday evening at City Hall for their council meeting. One item on the agenda will help the St. Joseph Animal Shelter see a move forward on plans for a new facility. A resolution authorizing the execution of a work order with Elson Auction Architects in the amount of $275,454 for design services for the St. Joseph Animal Shelter Development Project. Our current animal shelter is old and limited on space and it's not in a very easy to get to location and we like the idea of it being where people can easily get to, they can just stop in when they're driving by if they want to get a little visit with an animal and check out who we have out there. So. The city and friends of the animal shelter have been working towards this goal for years. The design will take several months and Kiki 2 of course will give you updated as more information becomes available. And up in Nottoway County, voters in the West Nottoway School District will vote on a no tax increase bond issue. The district's $2 million bond will go toward maintaining existing facilities, replacing leaking and faulty roofing, replacing ceiling tiles impacted by roof leaks, updating an HVAC system and sewer work for existing school buildings and facilities. Again, those voters head to the polls today.